did Facebook. They made Facebook so for their characters. Oh, really yeah. oh, oh, that's, that's a cool idea. Like, yeah. And they kind of have to use their imagination. Like, they made his birthday Christmas. So. Nice. I am a junior at UMass Amherst. And I noticed that this opportunity is available, so I decided to check it out, and now I'm here. Let's say I have basic knowledge of Spanish. If they are not confused what page you are on or what exactly a word means, if I know the translation, I definitely use it to clarify meanings. What we do is um, we learn Shakespeare, and, and, and to be specific, Julius Caesar, and we read different acts. We try to explain it to the best of our ability. We um, define words that we are not clear about. Um, we try to figure out what is happening there because it is sort of a complicated piece for English learners. And I see that they're really having a great grasp on it, so that's exciting. Well, I think a surprise for me would be how much they love to read, which is very great because this program is about reading. They're just very enthusiastic readers, which is, which is really wonderful. I love interacting with students, and this is just 100% of interaction with students, and really, it's a learning experience for both the students and I, so I like that. The students themselves are like, oh, you should be a teacher. So maybe, hopefully, I'm doing something to inspire them to really like reading, so. Well, if you're an English learner, um, then definitely push on. You, you know, the sky's the limit. Just keep learning. I myself um, had to juggle two languages at once when I was young, so I understand how hard, but you could get there, um, definitely. And if you're very fluent, I would say get an opportunity where you can go and uh, tutor these students because it's a learning experience for both the tutor and the student. I'm Dejeuner. Um, yeah. <laughs> Dejeuner, and wh where are you from? Um, I'm from California, but I go to Amherst College. And how did you get involved with this Summer of Power program? I work for Reader to Reader during the school year, and um, at the end of the semester, the spring semester, Dennis told us about this program, and I thought, this sounds really cool, and I kind of want to stick around Amherst, so. So you're not, gra you're not graduated yet? No, I'm uh, moving into my junior year. And how are you finding this program? Um, it's fun. It's fun to... I don't know, like I've never, I've tutored before like in high school, but this is kind of different and um, it's nice to work with like students who are learning English as a second language and like learning how to like cater to that more than how I've tutored before like in the past. It's, it's really fun and I like, I'm working in the Shakespeare group obviously and I like Shakespeare so this is fun for me. Do you speak Spanish? A little bit, yeah. Are you using it at all? No. <laughs> I mean, when my students speak Spanish, I like understand a little of what they're saying, so like I'm using it in that sense, but I'm terrible at speaking it and very self-conscious about it, so I just don't even try. <laughs> Does that give you some sort of empathy with the students trying to learn English? Um, yeah, I understand how hard it is to learn a second language and then feel comfortable enough to like read in that language or speak that language in front of others who speak it very well. So. Has there been a big surprise? I'm surprised with how well they're dealing with Shakespeare, because I know Shakespeare is something that's like hard for 
native English speakers to even understand. And so far the students are really getting it, they're really understanding it. They're even reading in Old English and like getting it without us having to go to the uh, modern, modern English text. So they really surprised me in that regard. Um, I think the program is going well. I think, you know, it's a first year program, so of course there's like organizational things that just need to be like tightened up, which would be, which will happen like the more they get used to um, how this program is going to go. Um, I don't know, I guess I could, I might want to see like maybe using the mentors, like maybe they extend the mentors period. It kind, it's kind of weird that we get like only an hour with them. There's like so much that we sh shove into the hour, so. How do you plan what you do with that hour? Um, well, I know a lot of mentors plan like outside of um, their classes um, with this specific group because we are taking like direction from Enchanted Circle. We kind of like do it on a day-to-day -day basis, but it's, um, I mean, it's pretty routine. You know, we read a scene, usually a scene that's like what they're doing in their workshop so that they can get better understanding of the scene before they go into the workshop. And then we just kind of work through it with them, ha help them understand what's happening, and they let us know if they have any questions about the text in general. You know, it's, just, it's largely discussion and reading based. can't really think of anything to say. This is just a really cool program. I hope they continue to do it in further years and I hope they get more participation because this is really cool and I think more kids should do it. My name is Thomas Allen. And where are you from? I'm Riza from Charlotte, North Carolina. I live in Amherst currently. I'm a PhD student at UMass Amherst. I study British Renaissance Lit. Part of which, you know, I have to know Shakespeare to get a job. So, but, yeah. Did you have any special training before you started here? I received training from uh, Holyoke Public Schools in, uh, in teaching strategies for ELL students uh, in, I guess, emergency responses that will happen that may, should, should they occur in the school. Uh, uh, Enchanted Circle came in and talked to, gave us some icebreakers to get the students to open up. Um, that sort of training, yes, they, they provide us with that. And, how, and that, how, what was your first sort of interaction with Enchanted Circle? Uh, my first interaction with Enchanted Circle was we played theater games in the auditorium. And just to, initially with the staff members supposed to get to know each other. Um, and then I, I work, whenever, whenever a staff member from Enchanted Circle comes in the room, I help facilitate what they want to do with the students. And do you speak Spanish? I do not speak Spanish, no. And how is that going here when you're doing your um, tutorials? The, my lack of Spanish doesn't hurt me at all. Uh, in terms of speaking with the kids, uh, they generally speak Spanish to each other, but they generally speak English uh, to me. And then if we're, if we're sitting in my pod here, um, they speak English with each other. Uh, so. Have you had any surprises? I've had lots of surprises, yes. Um, Content-wise, I've, I've been surprised at the relatability of the text we're reading Julius Caesar. I've been surprised at, at the relatability. I, questions of betrayal uh, are, are familiar to them. Uh, questions of loyalty as well. Who, who are you loyal to? Um, for, you know, for instance, when after Caesar's murder, Antony has to uh, ingratiate himself to his murderers in order to enact revenge against them. And they had a big problem with that. They said, Anthony's such a, hip Anthony's, me, such a hypocrite. Uh, I can't believe he's doing this. And I had one student say, no, he's doing it because he needs to get revenge on the suitors, on uh, the non-suitors, um, on the conspirators. And 
if he's if he is not if he doesn't get in good with them, they'll kill him right there and they won't be able to get revenge. So I think it shows a very nuanced understanding of, uh, of, of power relations, really, between people. So that surprised me. And how did you get involved in Reader to Reader? I saw I got involved in Reader to Reader when I saw a job ad posted on the UMass website. Uh, and they, they, they just said uh, they'd like to have English tutors in Holyoke High School. And I said, that'd be fun to do for the summer. And so I submitted an application at interview, and uh, here we are. Um, when, the, when, the, when Chan Circle found out that I was a Renaissance grad student, they put me in this class. <laughs> you support Reader to Reader. Um, they'll, take your, they'll take any old books you have. Uh, they have programs to promote literacy both in Western Massachusetts and across the nation as well. Uh, in, I think in, in Alabama and in a Navajo reservation. Um, I think they're a very worthy cause. You should, you should uh, support them however you can. What was, what was the relationship between Titan and Yeah. It's a